Class 2A Greene County with two in the semifinals, Kale Peterson and McKinley Robbins. Peterson dominates at 132 pounds. Quick moves, nice takedown, a 13 to 4 major decision. He will wrestle for a third state title. And at 138, Robbins gets his man twisted up like a pretzel. That's a pin. Robbins now a four-time state finalist and a one-time champ. It's pretty cool. Uh, I like Kale and it's it's pretty cool knowing that this is our last year. We both made it. We're drill partners and good friends, so it's it's good feeling. I think that'd be the first time Green County to ever have two state champs. So, I mean, if, if me and McKinley win, I'll be Green County's first three-time state champ, and McKinley will be Green County's first four-time finalist and two-time state champ. Now, Ballard, the other standout team today in Class 2A, 182 pounds. Brody Sampson upsets undefeated Jared Roos 3-2 to make the finals. Big win for Sampson. Next up, Gabe Christensen. A late takedown and another top seed goes down thanks to the Bombers at 195, 6-3 for Christensen. And then at 220, Gabe's brother Henry advances when his opponent from Osage actually hit his head, had to receive a medical forfeit. Bombers go three for three in the semifinals. It just doesn't feel as exciting, you know, making it under those circumstances, but um, just hate to see it, you know, but it's wrestling, but I'm happy I made it, I guess. That moment was awesome, you know, it's been a long four years coming, it's been my dream since I was a freshman, so it was awesome to do it, it's awesome to have a teammate with me, my brother wrestling now, myself, Brody, and my brother, um, we're just making the most of what we can. Certainly are, Class 2A team scores. Osage has already wrapped up the team title, and you can tell by those numbers they are pulling away. Ballard has a chance at finishing top five. Right now they are in sixth with 70 points. Green County and Webster City also both trying for a top 10 finish. Class 1A struggled for the local guys. 120 pounds, ACGC's Tegan Slaybaugh. Taken down, Slaybaugh loses, loses by a 14-5 major decision. 126 pounds, Colton Munson of Ogden can't return to the finals. He loses 4-2. Interstate 35 had two semifinalists, but both of them go down. Nick Steinledge at 145 and Evan Foreman at 220. And then at 170, Ryan Stiles of Earlham is pinned. Central Iowa is done in Class 1A. But here's a positive note in Class 1A. Rihanna Utterback makes her makes history. We told you about Utterback of Sigourney Kyoto on Wednesday. Utterback won her first consolation match today, guaranteeing a spot on the podium. She becomes the second girl to ever medal at the boys state tournament. Eddieville Blakesburg's Megan Black was the first to do it 11 years ago, back in 2012. So very cool that she uh, uh, don't see it as common anymore, obviously, with the girls state tournament. Exactly. But being able to compete with the boys and, uh, and hang with the boys is going to be on the podium.